Hey hi welcome to kids hope you all are going well the students always do the mistake by constructing the geometrical figure for which they are not getting the good marks so in today's video we will learn about the geometry box what to do what not to do and with all the complete steps without wasting time let's get started the best geometry box is the domes as compared to others why is it so let's see and watch this video till the end let's see what else is is there inside it to measure the line segment we use ruler and here it is given the 15 cm long ruler in this ruler small sections are also given easy to take the measurement like 3.7 cm now this one is called the divider it is also used for measuring the line segment it is having extra caps on it names this one is called the rounder or else we can say that as compass here this cap protects it from the damage it is too tight that's why it is good this is called protractor used for measuring angle and we all know it is having the two scales outer and inner for the left and right fist angle respectively these are called the set squares it is used to draw parallel lines this set square has the 90 degree 30 degree and 60 degree angle and this one has 90 degree 45 degree and 45 degree angle along with this one sharpener is also given next one eraser of its company is given it is dustless and try to avoid using eraser in geometry here you can see the speciality is it is having a small screw driver and it's a pencil so what is the work of this always tighten the screw of this devices before using it if you like this video turn white thumb blue and share the most important thing do not use paint on this devices do not keep the devices on the rough or dirty surfaces always keep them clean after using keep them on the right place put the caps it has one sharpener also need to use sharpener frequently Now let's see what student generally do wrong and what to do. Here one question is draw a circle of radius 4 cm to draw the curve and bisect it. Basically, do not use the blunt pencil. The point number 1 sharpen the pencil before the use. Take the measurement and take one point as the center and then draw the circle but do not hold the rounder in this way thick line is not acceptable in the geometry so what you need to do number 2 tighten the rounder next keep the needle on given measurement and pencil on zero make it adjustment then hold it from the top and draw the circle yes do not overwrite absolutely wrong even if you not use the same pencil to draw the lines never ever use pen you will get negative marking so what you need to do the rule number 5 draw another sharpened pencil to draw give light stroke 
Use the same pencil to name them. Do not put the dark stroke. Take more than half measurement. Draw two arcs on the above and below from the two end points. And give the light stroke. Here you have done wrong also. Placement of the ruler is absolutely wrong. And here this is the result. Make the adjustment of ruler exactly nearby the points. Not above it, not away from it. Now join the intersecting points. Use other second pencil. Yes, done. Let's see what's the mistake you have done in the first geometrical figure. Take lines, use a pen, then point is one place and your line is an other place. These are, these are all will give you the negative marking. After knowing this, never ever do these mistakes. After correction, never ever erase it. Let's see whether the second one is correct or not. So here you can see the radius is absolutely 4 cm. So it is correct. Now let's see the length of cord is given 5.8 cm. It means if the line segment is bisect here, the measurement should be 2.9. Yes. Its midpoint is 2.95 cm. For visibility, dark stroke is given or else always give the light stroke. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Stay tuned for the next part. Bye bye.